Hello everyone, welcome back again to Insights IAS Analytica. So as we discussed question from modern India last time, we'll be discussing a question from post-independence this time. So the question is, assess the main administrative issues and socio-cultural problems in the integration process of Indian princely states. This was a 10 marker. Now let's analyze the trend of how important post-independence is. So if you go from 2013 to 21, you'll see that in 13, they asked five questions. Then there was nothing, then 16, they asked one, 17, they asked one, and in 21, they asked one. So you'll be confused of how to go about this topic, post-independence. You might th even think of skipping it, but hold on, because what if we get five questions next year? Okay, so I'll show you how to prepare this topic. I call it constipated topic because input is way too much, but output is so little. Okay, because from 1947 till now, we have to prepare. So what we need to do is we have to divide it into micro syllabus. So take the syllabus of post-independence, divide it into different eras and inside that major events that happen. So here Nehru era, Shastri era, Indira Gandhi era, Rajiv Gandhi era and then I made this heading continuing issues which have been prevalent before itself and continuing now also. So we know from 1947 to 64 it was Nehru era. Recall all the major events that happened during that particular era. So it's like integration of princely states, we know, then language issue was there, linguistic reorganization of state happened, integration of tribals, that's why Nehru came up with this tribal punch shield, then India-China war, okay, this happened during Nehru era, then Shastri era, we know, in 1965, Indo-Pak war, then Tashkent agreement we signed, so as to ceasefire this war, then Jai Jawan Jai Kisan to boost up the morale of Jawans and Kisans, okay, because war was going on and then there was food insecurity. That's why he came up with this. Then Indira Gandhi era started, there was 1971 Indo-Pak war, Congress split happened during that time, then there was emergency, Punjab crisis, this demand for Khalistan, Assam crisis happened, then th that's why Assam accord was signed. Then in Rajiv Gandhi era, there was Bofor scam, this weapon scam between India and Sweden. Shabano case that is giving maintenance to divorced Muslim women. India Sri Lanka issue, LTT issue, then Babri Masjid issue, we all know about that. Then continuing issues that is communalism, regionalism, which was present before also, but now also. Then social movement, Dalit, women, farmers, issues are still prevalent. Land reforms, green revolution, we still face the issue of nutritional insecurity. Mandal commission issue, reservations. Post-independent economy, LPG reforms, okay. So see how I've just divided them into small, small syllabus. Now what you need to do is prepare 250 to 300 word content under this and bam, your post-independence is ready. The same thing we'll do for world history, okay. I'll show it next video. So let's coming back to the today's question that is assess the main administrative issues and socio-cultural problems in the integration process of Indian princely states. From where this question might have been asked. So I'll tell you one thing, what happens is that if one particular news article is coming again and again in news, then that becomes quite important, like how Ukraine-Russia war is coming. So it might be important for this year, UPSC means. And there are then some articles that comes once in a while. So you can't identify whether it is, whether it UPSC will ask or not. So that may, that means you have to read your newspaper very carefully. There was this one particular article, why Pakistan ended up with so few princely states. I found it very interesting, that's why I given it. So UPSC might have picked up question from here, okay. And then analyzing previous year questions. From 2013, five questions were there, 16, then 17. So one thing that I observed was that in none of these, there was integration of princely states. But I gave this here so that you can analyze how to go about with post-independence. You can prepare it accordingly. So let's see how to go about the question. First, highlight the keywords that is SS, administrative issues, social cultural problems, integration and princely states. And we are done with that. Then understand from which syllabus it has been taken. That is post-independence consolidation and reorganization within the country. And then understand the directive that is SS. What does SS mean? Whenever SS is asked, you have to identify like what all issues are there and then give reasons behind them with examples, data or any of the incident that happened during that time. That is how you should address this question. So let's see. Now one thing that we have to understand is as the question asked about administrative issues and socio-cultural problems, just stick with that. Don't go here and there because it is a 10 marker and you have to complete your paper. 20 questions are there. So just stick with this because if you write anything else, they, it's, there are no chances that they'll give you more marks. Now understand what integration is and what princely states are. So there are two terms, integration and accession, okay. So instrument of accession is actually a document. I'll show you like it's a document 
which was signed by ruler of that time that they are acceding their territory to mainland India. So, see, Hari Singh has acceded that he is ready to accede, the, like give the territory to India. Okay, that was instrument of accession. But integration is like the act of uniting different things. Okay, so here different small, small princely states, the act of uniting them into mainland India. That is what integration is. They didn't ask about accession, they asked about integration. So, don't write about accession in this particular question. Now, let's understand what princely states were. So, under Britishers, there were two main regions that is provinces and princely states. So, provinces were directly under British rule, okay, and princely states were like the subsidiary alliance where they were like ruled by natives only, native rulers only. But these native rulers paid taxes to Britishers, okay, taxes to Britishers. That's why they indirectly came under British crown, that they were princely states. Now, we understood. What they have asked in this question, we understood what integration is, what princely states are. Let's see how we can write the introduction. So, we, like as we usually do, general introduction and with knowledge, what type of introduction we can write. General introduction, as I said, as I described what, what princely states are, you can write like princely states were those which were ruled by natives and indirectly came under British crown. Now, because of vast diversity and like difference in culture, and personal aspirations of ruler, integrating these princely states were a bit tricky. That is general introduction. I just picked up little knowledge that I had and framed one introduction. Now, with knowledge, what type of introduction you could have written? Like knowing about what, how many princely states were there, how important it was that you can write in introduction too. So, same thing like princely states were semi-autonomous regions which were ruled by native, native rulers and were under British, indirectly came under British. Okay, then you can write about there were nearly 562 princely states and it covered 40% of land mass. So, because, but while integrating, there were some administrative and social cultural problems because of which integration process was a bit tricky. This type of introduction also you can write. So, as I gave about 560, near to 562 princely states, I'll explain that. Um, when India got independence, as I said, there were these many princely states. Integrating them was a bit tricky. It was actually the statesmanship of our leaders like Sardar Patel and VP Menon that we are the way we are now. So that we have to address in our answer. So once we are done with the introduction, let's see how to generate points for body. What I'll do is brainstorm, okay, because I can't recall during exam time. So I have this map of India in my mind undivided ma India. So, we let us take one princely state. First thing that comes to my mind is Jammu and Kashmir. It is still facing issue. So, we know that while integration time also, it might have faced lot of issues. So, I have Jammu and Kashmir in my mind. Now, I will generate points just with this. See how. You can see that it has bordering Pakistan. So, bordering Pakistan would be one. Then it is very vast and somewhere very small. So, size would be another. Okay. Then I can see that inside Kashmir only there were diversities like Ladakh, Kashmir and Jammu region. Ladakh had Buddhist majority, Kashmir had Muslim majority and Jammu had Hindu majority. So, bringing them all together, that was one issue. Okay. So, see how I am just generating points. Some area would be more developed. Okay. Then some area would be more economically prosperous. Ethnic diversity would be their language would be issue. So, from taking one particular princely state, I am generating issue, uh, this dimensions okay so what i'll do now is i'll address administrative issues differently and then social cultural problems okay so first administrative issues let's take so administrative issues would be as i said differences in size and administrative system as i said jammu and kashmir was so, so big but in gujarat there were many princely states that, which were very small in size like 80 kilometers square that type of princely states were also there then administrative difference in administration system is, was like Hyderabad was quite well developed okay they had railways telephone okay do you think the Nawab would easily give up his like ter territory to mainland India no he was very hesitant then issue with border states as I said Mr. Jinnah he gave blank check to Rajputana king so that they would join because they were very near to Pakistan you can see here okay that's how it was during that time then issue with northeast princely state that they even though they signed this instrument of accession, but they wanted to have maintain their autonomy also. You have to give these examples, then issue with territorial contiguity. So what happened was like there were many princely states and 
from 1940 to 1956 they tried to join them but it was like patches no boundary no connective boundary was the same issue with face with pondicherry now like even though pondicherry is a union territory but it is in different states so administer administering them is was quite a challenge later on even though they were bought under punjab issue of law and order so what happened was that popular will was something else they wanted to stay with india but their rulers what they did was they wanted to join pakistan here you can give example about mahavat khan who was ruler of junagadh what he did was that he already signed instrument of accession to join pakistan okay then issues of privileges so private purse was there through which government was giving money to these rulers so that they would join india but they felt that the amount that is given is very less that's why they were not ready to give up their territory so easily then issue of backwardness so there were you here you can give example about kochi or baroda state who were quite prosperous okay but then there was rajputana states who were very poor and they still followed serfdoms okay so these type of examples you can give or another very interesting example was about ruler of uh, junagadh his name is mahavat khan so what he did was like he was spending lavishly on unwanted things like he spent 20 lakhs he had 800 dogs and he spent 20 lakhs on one of his dogs marriage so we say that every dog has a day this dog had it day he's wearing necklace and all so that's how people were unhappy with the rulers okay this type of examples if you give it becomes quite interesting now once we have addressed the administrative issues let's see what all socio cultural problems were there so one is lack of nationalism here you can give example about praja mandal so praja mandal was this movement in which the princely states also took part in the process of nationalism to get independence but it was not active in all the princely states so like people of all the princely states are not that excited to join mainland india so that is lack of nationalism then there was discontent among people that is their uh, their discontent towards the ruler itself okay that you can write then there is religious diversity here you can give example about uh, like junagadh king or nawab of hyderabad okay and along with their people so that's why we had this operation polo then we can give uh, ethnic diversity you can give example about northeast india manipur example then cultural diversity the exa uh, example that i gave about jammu and kashmir how within jammu and kashmir only there were so many cultures so that created problem in smooth integration of these states into mainland india these type of examples you should give so as we have addressed the major part of the question that is administrative issues and socio cultural problems let's see various methods that were used for the integration of princely states so first was merger the example of pepsu that i showed you before then there was democratization that is electing a popular leader as their head then there was constitutionalization that is giving constitutional status to these states and then there was reorganization that is through state reorganization act so that's how you can address your body so once we are done with our body let's see how to go about conclusion so the first conclusion you can give present relevance of this historical event that is uh, i'll go like integration even though was addressed partly uh, through state reorganization act but it is still an unfinished task as we can see in northeastern states or the second conclusion will be with certain naming certain leaders like i can go like integration of indian princely states was art of statementship by leaders like sardar vallabhbhai patel and vp menon who used tools like persuasion pressure to integrate diverse india into one nation this is another type of conclusion that you could have written so well, once we are done with the answer let's see how the sample answer is i've just given you a you can download it from our website also okay so it's just sample answer you can pause anywhere and note down points if you want so sources so one thing is that for post independence question you can watch this pradhan mantri series they are very interesting if not for post independence then also i'll suggest you go and watch that otherwise ncrts are also quite good okay thank you for your precious time